Oxygen is freely given by God to everyone, to the just and to the wicked, to those who do good or evil, and even to the undeserving. Even though it has been given without a cost, many have been gasping for it due to their daily problems. Unfortunately, the reality is that the world has become like a valley of dry bones. Many people have been living in emptiness and have been left broken. Due to the pandemic, the world hasn't been the same. Many have been left unemployed, without food, and even homeless. Also because of violence, the world hasn't been the same. That's why the Twilight Pray. So that God may transform your life and bring restoration to this world. Prepare a glass of water for the moment of prayer. Wake up, Trinidad and Tobago. We are here once again to show you that there is a solution for your problems. There is a solution for your situation. So in this program, you are going to see that our Father, our Lord, is the same. And because He is the same, He will change your life. He will change your situation. You can prepare your glass of water because in 10 minutes, we are going to be in prayer for you. And for sure, you will receive a miracle. You will receive the blessing. In Jesus' name. So good evening, Pastor Pastor Luz. We are here with Pastor Luz. And Pastor Luz, we know that we are in preparation for this Sunday. This Sunday will be the day of our transformation. Will be the day of our victory. That's why, oh Pastor Luz, if this person wants to receive a new life, a new story, this person have to come to the altar to place their perfect sacrifice, better say, to place their whole life on the altar. Pastor Luz. Good evening, Pastor Jonathan, it's all of you, for sure, Pastor. So this person, they have the opportunity to have their life change. If they obey God's words, if they, if they do what God asks them to do, and place, as you said, their whole life on the altar, for sure they are going to see the total transformation coming this Sunday, is the opportunity, Pastor Jonathan, that this person have for them to, to see the difference come to pass on their life, Pastor. Exactly. My dear friend, I don't know your problems. I don't know your situation. But on the altar, you can receive a new life. However, how long will you accept this situation in your life? How long will you accept to live in the same life, in the same situation, day after day, month after month, year after year? How long will you accept this situation? So, my dear friend, in this campaign of Israel, you have a great opportunity to change your life, to change your situation, like this testimony. Please, we are going to watch this testimony and after we are going to come back with you. Pay attention because you will see through this testimony, you are going to see that our Father can change your life. Prepare a glass of water because at the end of this show, we will pray to bless this water. And through faith, you will experience the power of God blessing your life. Campaign of Israel at the Temple of Solomon. Hi, my name is Samika, and this is my life story. Before coming to the Universal Church, it started about the age of eight years old where I was depressed, lonely, empty inside because I never had my mom around to show me that love, to show me that comfort, so I always felt unloved, unwanted. And due to the situation, um, it led me to be addicted, to be suicidal, to look for love in different kind of people. So it started when I reached high school and I met a group of friends and they was talking about how them does party, how they does drink, how they does be. 
so enjoying themselves. So I was like, if if them could enjoy themselves and feel happy, best I do that too. So I start liming and drinking and hanging out with these friends, and it it told it tell a toll on me because it even led me to leave home at an early age. At the age of 15, I wrote my mom a letter to telling her we'd be out, right? And this letter was, wasn't something expected because I did, the person who I left with, I didn't even know that person. It's the first time I reached this person and spoke with this person. But because due to the fact that he promised me that um, I would have, I would be happy and things would go better for me. Um, that's why I decided to go with him. But a um, couple of days in the relationship, um, he started to be abusive and stuff like that. So that started to give me second thoughts of even continuing and doing what he said. And I, I, um, I grew up in a Christian home learning how to pray and stuff like that. So I was praying and asking God what to do, how to come out of this situation and stuff like that. Still depressed, still suicidal, so that didn't stop there. I still keep going in relationships after relationship, seeking for this love, seeking for this happiness and stuff like that. Where I end up in a relationship, I got a child and this relationship didn't work out. I end up in a next relationship with another child. This relationship still didn't work out. So that's what end up and led me coming to the... Before that, my mom was coming to the church, invited me many times, but I did not come. I had a neighbor coming to the church, invited me many times, and I didn't come. But one day, I said, enough is enough. And I decided to come to the church. And when I came to the church, um, the pastor spoke to me, he introduced me to a chain of prayer and stuff like that. He introduced me to the YPG. So I start coming the services on Sundays, Mondays and Fridays for my deliverance because I had a lot of sleepless nights. I had where I would be sleeping and I would feel things holding me down in my sleep. And every Friday I will come to this deliverance service and I will manifest. And it had a point that the pastor asked me why every time you come into this service you manifest, and I, and I didn't know why. But it's when um, it was revealed to me the grudges that I had against my mom. I had a lot of grudges, I hated her. And it's when I decided to let all that go and to forgive, ask for forgiveness and stuff like that is why I broke free. Even though breaking free from the addictions, from the, the sleepless nights and stuff like that, the sleeping around with different guys, being addicted, drinking, smoking, all of this, I still was empty inside. I, I still didn't have peace inside. And in, in the church so long, seven years, and hearing everybody talking about how they have this peace inside, how they have this happiness, how they have this joy. I did many campaigns before, many, many campaigns, because while in the church I hear the pastor talking about the campaign, and I decided to go he head on in the campaign, did many campaigns before. and. I got a lot of breakthrough financially, family-wise, health-wise, and stuff like that, but still empty, still depressed. So um, this campaign came up that where um, the pastor told us to exercise of faith and do this campaign. I decided to join the campaign of Israel. And when I joined this campaign, I asked God, God, what it is that you want from me? What do you want me to do? Because I really need this peace, this happiness inside. And God told me that um, um, I was the only breadwinner in the house. I have to pay all the bills, the salary, the rent, everything. So he said, he wants my salary, all of my salary, everything. And also to, to build up a sacrifice, he, somehow, build it up somehow. So I decided to sell water. And I took, every time I sell water, I take the money and I put it into the envelope. When I receive my salary, I took the, the money and I placed it into the envelope. It was very hard for me to do the sacrifice because I was the only breadwinner in the house. I had was a parent to feed the kids and to do everything, but I decided to take this um, sacrifice and place it into the envelope. So it was really hard for me because I received 
very negative words from my husband, stuff like that, feeling doubts came that how the children will eat, what will go on and stuff like that, but I still persevered and placed it into the, uh, the envelope. And when I place everything into the envelope and I place my sacrifice on the altar, even before I place my sacrifice on the altar, I received the Holy Spirit. As I was saying, it was in the Wednesday service where I received the Holy Spirit. So even when I received the Holy Spirit, that gave me more assurance, more faith to go ahead in what I'm doing, to continue to place my, my, my sacrifice on the altar. So I place my sacrifice and I receive my virtue. Now I'm free. I am happy, I'm joyful, and I have peace inside of me. Well, did you see? So now she has peace, joy, the Holy Spirit, salvation. She has a different life. Ah, my friend, our Lord will do the same. Enjoy this opportunity. Place your whole life on the altar, and everything in your life will change, O Pastor Luz. For sure, Pastor Jonah, this is exactly what this person needs to do the same way as this lady did. If, she, if they want to see the total transformation also on their life, if they want peace, if they want joy, my friend, this is what you have to do. Prepare yourself because on the 12th is the day for you to have your life be transformed by the power of God. On the earth, that God also do it in your life. Pastor Jonathan have with me here the name of some people that call us in this evening to place their name on the holy oil. I want to put here the name of Miss Rebecca. She asked prayer for help for life. She called us from Mearo. Miss Rebecca is your name here on the oil. In the oil. Alright? So, also I have here Miss Santa that she asked prayer for health. So, Miss Santa, she talk, she called us from Gasparil and asked prayer. Uh, is your name here into the Holy Oil? For sure, you are going to pray for you. Also, I have here Miss Carmen. She asked prayer because she feeling weak and she wants a help for us. She called us pastor from Porto Spain. Miss Carmen is here, your name into the Holy Oil. And the last one we have with me is Christian. He asked a prayer for the spiritual life in Conas from Tobago. Is your name here, uh, Mr. Christian, on uh, the Holy Oil? And also, all of you who want a bless, who want a change, you can call us and you can uh, send your name for us to, to place it here into the Holy Oil, Pastor John. Yes, my dear friend, you can prepare your glass of water because we are going to be pray for you. But my dear friend, you cannot forget that tomorrow Friday will be the day of your deliverance. This Friday, we are going to cry out for our protection. We are going to place our lives, our family in the secret place, in the holy place, and there in the secret place we are going to receive protection in all the areas of our lives. So, my dear friend, this Friday, we are going to be there in Chaguanas, Chaguanas Main Road, next to Ratans. This Friday, at half past eight in the morning, half past six in the morning, I'm sorry, half past six in the morning, 10 a.m., 12 noon, 3 p.m., and also 5 p.m. Come! Because this Friday, you will see the power of God in your life. You know, oh Pastor Luz, that in this last month, the last, in these last days of this, week, this year, the devil, or better say, the evil force, will work hard, but hard to destroy our family, to destroy our lives. And we, O oh Pastor Luz, we need to receive God's protection. Because if we don't have a God, if we don't have God's protection, my dear friend, believe me, we will see the work of the evil force in our lives. But if you have the protector of the protection of God, no one will destroy you. No one will torture you. 
because God himself will protect you, Pastor Luz. For sure, Pastor Jonathan, so many people, they made already the plan to travel, to do something, to visit family, to go somewhere. But they forget that for everything come right, they need that protection. They need that God place in hands on their lives. That's why, my friend, we are calling you for you to seek this protection from God, to receive that protection from God, that Friday now, we are going to pray, my friend, for God to put in angels, for God to protect and to bless your life and your family in the name of Jesus. For, for sure, if you be here with us, you are going to receive that miracle, that blessing in your life. But uh, Jonas, this is the opportunity what they have Friday to be with us to receive this bless on their lives. Exactly. This Friday, they will receive protection. You, my dear friend, will receive protection in your life. So now prepare your glass of water because it's the moment of prayer. The Pastor Luz will pray for us, will consecrate this water, and for sure, a miracle will happen in your life. Prepare your glass of water because it's the moment of the prayer. Prayer is our communication with God. You watched the testimonies. You heard the word. But now, please close your eyes and prepare for the moment of prayer. In life we have so much pain. Let us talk to God in the name of Jesus. Our Heavenly Father, in the name of your Son Jesus, right now, we are here in prayer, my Father, and to ask you, my God, to bless this glass of water that this person, my God, then hold, my God, right now. My Father, I ask you, consecrate, and my God, and make this water to be a spiritual tablet. When this person, my Father, drink this water, my God, renew their strength, my Father. My God, help this person, my God, for them, my God, to receive power, for them to ask, for them, my God, to receive now their healing, their strength, my God. I pray, my Father, for those who are right now in the hospital, or maybe they are at home, but they are sick, my God. I ask you to heal in this person. My God, I pray for those who are sad and those feeling down, my God. Raise them up right now. Help, my Father, this person that they don't know what to do, my God. But from now on, I ask your spirit, my God, help them, strengthen them. I ask my Father, you give peace, my Father, for this person, my Lord. Make them to be able, my God, to, to raise, to stand up from where they are, my God, and to fight, to receive a total transformation, to receive that protection, what they need, my God. My Father, I pray for the family, the family that maybe, my God, they have been see the confusion inside of their house. But right now, my God, I ask you to put end on that confusion, to transform, my God, to bring peace, my Father, for their house, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, my Lord, we surrender their lives into your hands. We surrender their family, my God. My God, and I ask you to protect them, to bless them today and tomorrow and forever. In Jesus Christ's name. And those who believe, be blessed, be free in Jesus' name. And say, Amen. Drink the water right now and be blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Pastor Jonathan, that is our end for sure. God's going to bless this person and give, make them to be able to be with us, with us this Friday, coming to receive that protection. Pastor Jonathan. Exactly, Pastor Luz. This Friday, you will receive this protection. You are blessed in Jesus' name. So tomorrow, we are going to be here in the same time, in the same spirit, to bless you, to pray for you. God bless you in Jesus Christ's name. See you tomorrow in Jesus' name. Why am I still alive? 
my health, my finances, my love life, everything is a mess. I work hard, but I can't even pay my bills. I'm educated, but I can't find a job. I'm a good person, but I can't find the right person. My house is haunted. I hear footsteps all the time. And I just found out I have the same disease my mom had. Why am I still alive? If everything is going wrong, despite how hard you try, then your problem is not normal. Join us every Friday for Deliverance.